Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing Love and Hip Hop New York Season 6 Episode 11. So y'all know, they done made this way the whole week to announce the winner of Gwyneth Fest. And it was Bianca. Let B. Real D tell it they should have won. Because y'all know last week they was already to go up on stage. They already had accepted speeches. Like, I want to thank my mama because she was always there for me. I want to thank my record label. I can't forget my fans. You know, they was cursing and bowing, doing all that stuff because they just knew that they was going to win. Now, I'm all here for people, you know, lift yourself up if ain't nobody else going to lift yourself up. But I don't know why they needed to, for us to wait a whole week. Like, we were still going to watch it. And you know, you know me, I'm a cheerleader for foolishness. I'm here. I'm here for it. I'm not here for, you know, fighting for no reason and bullying people. But foolishness, you know, I'm all here chilling the raw, raw foolishness. Uh, I'm here for that all day. Bianca, she's happy. She's like, you know what? I've calmed down. I'm not popping off at people no more. I'm trying to be professional so I can work at Andy. So it took Peter's oldest daughter, Whitney, for him to realize that, hey, I shouldn't be having no more children. I shouldn't be impregnating more, no more people. It wasn't the nine children that he cannot take care of. For him to realize that, it was his daughter like, look, you can't be doing that no more. You taking time away from us. You know, mainly my little brothers and sisters, where you can't spend time with them because you're getting somebody else pregnant every other season on Love & Hip Hop. I'm going to need you to stop doing that. So now Peter's like, you know what? Maybe I should get this vasectomy. You know, I don't really want to do it, but you know, Whitney's right. So, before he gets his vasectomy, I mean, he decides to go to see Tara because she's, you know, getting her ultrasound for they, the baby that she's pregnant with him by. And he's happy and he tells her that, you know, he's thinking about getting a vasectomy and she's looking like, why would you do that? Because what if I want some more babies by you in the future? That is the look I got from her. Maybe I'm wrong, but... I was also disturbed and mad at the fact that he told Tara before he told Amina. Now, Amina is his wife. So, why wasn't she, like, informed on this before he told Tara is beyond me? It's like, it's so much like Tara is the wife and, like, Amina is the side girl. I guess him and Tara have been together so long that he's, like, able to talk to her. It was like... This is what gets you in trouble, Peter, because you go and talk to Tara about stuff that you be talk should be talking to Amina about. It's like, and he don't understand it. I don't know how he even got to the age of 40, 50 years old that he doesn't realize that he should be talking to his wife about these certain things. Because he would stay out of a whole lot of trouble if he did that. So Remy, she tells Papoose that, you know, what went down at Gwyneth Fest and how Ra, she decided to throw a bottle at one of Yandy's friends. But, you know, it wasn't nothing major like that. He said, but he's like, you know, that's how it all starts off. It's something major. The next day, you know, you in handcuffs. You know, Ra, she, that she is very hood. And the fact that you are putting yourself in that situation, you trying to go back to jail. See, hood people like that, they can clown and cut up like that. And they be alright. You are on parole and you can't afford to be doing stuff like that. But she's understanding like, you know what, that is so true. So I'm going to have to like get all this under control if I'm going to have both, you know, Rashida and Yandy at my wedding. Because I don't want nothing popping off because I can't afford to go back to jail. Y'all can cut up all y'all want to. Y'all go to jail, be there for like a day or until somebody bail you out and you good. If I get in trouble i'm going back to the penitentiary and i can't be doing us papoos i really appreciate papu for this because like he's looking like he's looking out for her he's like i know you want to hang out with your friends but your friends are not the people that you should be hanging out with right now while you are on parole because one slip up and you can go to jail that's what happened before it was something minor then it turned into something major, and then you was locked up for seven years. So maybe you shouldn't be hanging out with those certain hood friends that you like to hang out with. So Bianca, Cardi B, and Mariah Lynn meet up. And Mariah Lynn, she can't wait to tell Cardi B how, yeah, I put out them restraining orders on Mo, and the girl tried to swing on me. But Cardi B's like, she's trying to swing on you. Girl, you weigh all of 94 pounds. She was trying to swing on you, but oh, she couldn't swing on Bianca. Oh, I see what this is. But Cardi B, she not here for Mo and her, you know, want to be a thug. All the while putting restraining orders out on people like that on me. She's like, I have no respect for you. You want to be a thug, but you out there putting papers on people. Like, really, this is what we doing. But, you know, Cardi B, she going through some things. Her man, he still locks up. 
he wanting her to change and, you know, be a homemaker. She didn't already gave up stripping for him. But now he's like, I want you to give up rapping too. I want you to stay at home, take care of the children when we do have one, and that's going to be your role. But, you know, Cardi B, that's not her. She, like, she having withdrawals from the stripper pole, you know. She love making money. It ain't just about the making the money on the stripper pole, because she can make money anywhere. She just love the fact that the money falling down on her. That's, like, what she's getting. And she's like, you know, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of him trying to tell me what to do. I got these papers at home. Talking about somebody trying to get married. But he's trying to remove everything that about Cardi B that is Cardi B. I love swinging on the pole and let that money come fall on me. I love to rap. But I love him too. But he gonna have to like realize that this is who you want to be with. This is me. If you changing these about me, you changing me. Therefore, you don't want to be with me. Since Papoose wants a drama free wedding, which I completely understand. R Remy, she sits down with Ra and like, look here... I can't be having what happened at Gwen and Fez happened in my wedding. Like, what's happening? What is this whole beef? And where she's like, you know, I felt that Yanni bought this girl around because she know me and this girl had beef. But Remy was like, Yanni, like, she didn't know anything was going on. She's like, yeah, she knew what was going on. She knew me and this girl had beef because she's been there multiple times when me and this girl got into it. But, you know, Yanni, she played dumb for those situations. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't know you and this girl, you and this girl had beef. So later on, Remy and Yandy meet up, and Yandy, Remy, you know, tells her, you know, I talked to Rashida, and she says that you knew what was going on. But Yandy, she's under this thing as that wasn't the time or the place. This is where we was making money at. Like as a friend, you know, you know how we get down. If if you have beef with somebody that I'm with, you gonna pull me to the side. It's like, look here, I need to go whip this girl's tail right this quick, and you get out the way. Yandy's under this. If you got beef with her, you know, pull me to the side so I ain't gonna get hurt. So I guess she's more of mad. It's like if you had beef with my friend, you should have told me Yanny scoot back to the side so I can go bop her the head and you don't get into the way of this. I kind of understood, but I'm like, I understood, but I didn't understand. But Remy, she's trying to believe things, but like the story ain't sounding too well. And to me, honestly, I think Yanny, she kind of like. She know Rashida don't like her, so she gonna do this slyly and then play them at, at the same time. So I don't maybe maybe she was truthful. Like I didn't know what was going on, but let Rashida tell like you knew what was going on because you've been there a couple of times when me and this girl got into it. You knew I was gonna be at Gwyneth Fest because I had artists on the roster. So don't play them. So Cardi B, she is mad at DJ still because like. He ain't really trying to listen to her music. He got BBOD all up on the radio, but he can't put her on the radio. But he feels like they're more professional and Cardi B is. And she's like, oh, but you quick to come to me when you want to make some money and me at period clubs and all that stuff. You you, oh, you want me, you know, you there for me then. But when it's time for my music, you know, you ain't trying to be here for me. But she's like, you know what, that's good. DJ Self, you know, I'm going to make this money with or without you. And the next time you need somebody to come to make an appearance at the club because you want to make some money, you go ahead and call somebody else and don't call Cardi B. So since Mendeecees has been sentenced, you know, he wants to get his whole family together. And Yanny, she's on this. I can't believe they gave you eight years. Like, how could they do that to you? But, like, he was out there doing stuff where he could have got more years. And, like, Yanny's like, you know, they could have just been like, you can just go home. But, like, Yanny, you know what Mandy Seuss was doing. Like, why are you acting like this some innocent man has been taken away from you for no reason. But anyway, he and all the mother of his children meet up. And I need to know where this third mother came from. Because I just thought he had Lil Mandeces with um Samantha and Amir and the little girl with Yandy. When did this other child come in is what I want to know. Can somebody please let me know this? So they all sit down and... He says that he wants to be there for his children. He wants his children to visit. And Samantha made a remark like, I know how it is but you know, being in jail. But, you know, Mendes' mom was like, you was in jail for a day, girl. Don't act like you did some hard time. The next thing you know, Mendes' mama and Samantha's mama gets into it. And I must say, Samantha looked like she had just came from getting her hair done. Like, went from getting her hair done to get going to sit down and film this scene because like her she makes sure that if she's going to be on tv that her braids are going to be freshly done like you can still smell whatever product you use to braid her hair but she's like uh, -uh we're not going to do that 
then it comes to the subject of bringing the kids to see him and samantha's like i don't know if i wouldn't bring you know little man decent up her to see you know you because i don't want my child in that environment but yeah it's like you know he needs to see his daddy he needs to know you know how to be a man we can't teach him how to be a man you know he needs that from his daddy you know even though he's behind bars he needs he needs his daddy so so samantha's like you know what okay that sounds about right but i think i remember seeing like pictures of the kids and Yandy's son Amir in I think a scene is the other child's name. They look about the same age. Like maybe some months apart. So it seems that maybe she's got, you know, two women pregnant at the same time. But I'm almost positive that I remember last season Yandy speaking of how she took care of little Mandisa when he was little. It was like there for his first footstep. So it looked like, you know, Mandisa may have slipped out and like got somebody else pregnant while he was with Yandy. I don't know because, you know, this. I don't know if that was just a lie that it was telling. I don't know. So what else went on? Oh, yeah, Yandy and Tyra meet up. And Yandy knew nothing of Tyra being pregnant. Tyra stands up like eight months pregnant. And Yandy's like, I've talked to you within eight months. Like, what is going on? She's like, yes, I am pregnant. And I am pregnant by Peter. And Yandy's like, okay, I don't know how I feel about you being married, you know, pregnant by a married man. I don't know if Yandy was in that situation. I don't know if, you know, Yandy sees what's with somebody and Yandy swooped in or... You know, Peter swooped out on your heart, Yanny. I don't know. This is a situation. I need somebody to explain this to me. But anyway, she's like, I'm happy. You know, I don't, I love Peter. I will always love Peter. But, you know, I move on. I'm moving on. And it's like, she's always about this. I'm so much better. Yes, I am pregnant by a married man. But I am still better than you, attitude. And I'm going to need her to stop. And I have another thing to say. I was noticing in Tara's confessionals where she got that black uh, cut out shoulder and everything. I was like, this, she's been wearing the same outfit the whole like time it's been on these whole 11 episodes. I guess this is black and the way she was standing, you couldn't tell she was pregnant. But then like, she got to rub her stomach. I'm like, hold up. Why are you wearing that while you're pregnant? Because, like, if, to me, it didn't, I couldn't see that she was pregnant. But I was like, hold up. They, they take these confessionals as things are going on. Because, you know, clearly she had the same outfit on. And I was confused about that until I realized she's pregnant. And it's just because it's black and the way she's standing. And you can't really tell the, that there's a belly there. The way they have the angles and the bird wearing black. What you doing wearing that while you pregnant? Like, really? I thought the whole thing about, like, being comfortable and, like, you always trying to be about being sophisticated in class and you got her own car to be about what she's wearing and you wearing that while you're pregnant. But anyways, that was just what went on. If I left anything out by me, leave a comment or feel a response. So like always, I want to thank my subscribers and the people watching my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.